Hi guys, uh, Paco here. I've had several inquiries on the Yamaha PCY135 conversion about sensitivity and um, how well it triggers and also how it works as a hi-hat with the soft pot controller. So I don't know if a video will help. I know you can't feel what I'm feeling when I hit it, but I thought maybe it would give you some added insight as to whether you want to try this conversion or modification. Um, I've got this set up uh, right now as a three zone ride. The, the sensitivity is set to five with a threshold of two and a linear curve. Um, what else can I tell you about it? The rim gain is right now at one and a half. So 1.5 so you guys that tweak around with your modules know that there's quite a bit of uh, adjustability beyond either way on the settings I have so anyway I'm gonna try and just do some light strokes I'm using a you know generic Vic Firth 5a nylon tip stick so I'm not using anything big or, or small and I'll try and uh, see if you can pick up on how well this is working for me so here we go. So there's there's some bow shots. Um, here's some edge triggers. Anyway, uh, again, I don't know if that helps any. Um, I'm used to a whole different ride, also the placement on my kit, so I'm, obviously I'm missing some of the, the bell hits and stuff, but you know, for, for 120 bucks, I, I think it works uh, at least as well as the Roland uh, symbols at more than twice the price. Anyway, I'm gonna move it over to my hi-hat, and I'll try and get a video of that so you can see how it acts with the uh, controller. Okay, here's the uh, Yamaha PCY135 mounted on my standard pearl hi-hat stand. Um, it's kind of inconvenient to play because the old stealth cymbal setup I had is still mounted. I didn't want to take it off. It's bigger it also kind of interferes a little bit just because of the way I have cables and stuff under there. I'll, I'll show you once we get done with a couple of sound samples. So let me play um, some bow and edge shots and uh, open close with uh, maybe some splashes if I'm lucky enough and we'll see what you think.
So there's uh, a real down and dirty example of uh, how it's working. Um, like I said, this is really, the whole thing is up higher than I'm used to and I'm making a bunch of excuses, but basically, you know, if this wasn't in the way or if I had rearranged some of the stuff underneath, I think it would be okay. What I did is just uh, take my, my standard uh, clutch, let me unplug this, mounted it with standard cymbal felts. This is the soft pot uh, controller sitting there and you know some of this stuff is kind of interfering with the, with the um, cabling and stuff I have here so I'd have to rearrange it but I didn't want to take it off while I was trying to uh, decide exactly which way I'm going with all this stuff. I only have one of these right now and I think I'll probably uh, not use it as a hi-hat immediately because my, my stealth hi-hat really works fine. I just don't get edge triggering as reliably. Uh, I, I have not been able to come up with a good reliable edge switch with any of the materials I've tried and that's really the whole reason I decided to start looking at uh, the commercial symbols. Um, anyway, that's it. If you have questions just uh, post away and if I can answer them I will. Thanks.